Hidden away in the archives, it's a shocking 50-year-old civil rights cold case with a modern connection. Not a shred of evidence still stands at the intersection of Lakeview and Superior, but Reverend E.T. Cavanis says the images from that day It's painful, excruciatingly painful. are still very fresh in his mind, 52 years later. To see him lying there, having been crushed to death with a bulldozer, was just more than you could really handle at the time. He was there on April 7, 1964, when 27-year-old Bruce Clunder laid down in front of a bulldozer to protest the construction of a segregated school. When he was crushed to death, investigators said by accident. I was uh, on the outside. They were screaming and hollering for him to stop, 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 but I don't think he heard it. A trip to the archives of the Western Reserve Historical Society showed just how pivotal Clunder's death was. To many, he was considered a martyr for desegregation, paving the way for Martin Luther King Jr.'s visit to Cleveland just three years later. Don't let anybody make you feel that you are nobody. It's cases like these, many long forgotten, that could now get a second look, thanks to a bill passed Tuesday that would allow for a more comprehensive look at civil rights cold cases. Kavanis tells me it's an important step. I think it's a good thing. That he hopes will shed light on a long forgotten past. But in order to go forward, we must look backward and understand how far from whence we'll come. And I think that's a blessing of this this day. Since 1989, there have been 24 civil rights cold case convictions. This legislation would extend that program into the future. In Cleveland, Megan Hickey, News 5.